Well, my great people of this state, first and foremost, I want to thank you for the way in which you conducted yourselves on the 25th of February. I was proud of your conduct, even as we did not get, I mean, we didn't win all the elections. But what is important is the process. And I was informed that in Bini City, the talk of the ruling party in Edo State, you call the death of um, one of our citizens. We pray to God Almighty to forgive the sin and grant him rest in heaven and also to punish in his own way at the same time those who are responsible for that premature death. No one deserves to die just because he or she came out to vote. I suffered in 2007 and I know what it means. I met the families and the parents three young men who were killed at Oba Primary School in 2007. The tomorrow I, I, I recognize that they died for this democracy. Many years later, I thought this is something that will never happen again. So we pray to God Almighty to grant him peace and to grant the family fortitude to be here. this avoidable, crude murder of an innocent Nigerian who simply wanted to vote. I will not really deny to vote, but they sniff life out of, out of him. On Saturday, we are going for another election. This election is very important. Although our governorship election is not yet due, but the role of parliament is what defines distinguished democracy from dictatorship. Because the beauty of parliament is that most of the things that the executive, which ordinarily is referred to as government, in the case of a state, and president in the case of the nation, the role of parliament is very important. For example, as we start today, there are speculations as to how much has been borrowed by this correct governor in the name of Edo people. Because the application and the letter of request to borrow was never read on the floor of the State House of Assembly. Because there is no State House of Assembly. We have only 10 out of 24. That's a miserable minority. But we are not about to cry over that. We face the future because tomorrow is much more than the subject of yesterday and the day before. So we ask, our, we ask you all to come out and vote wisely, vote for APC, so that we can return the state back to what it was before Governor Obasek took over in 2016. We want to renew the tradition of building roads with drainage and street lights and sidewalks, schools equipped with teachers, not rectories, teachers trained and properly paid, civil servants that enjoy their right, not the one that is populated by political appointees, where directors who hope to become permanent secretaries find their, their, their future frustrated by the importation of strangers into the civil service at the highest level. Now to my friends and comrades in labor, they need to know that as much as you would like to have a relationship with a leprous person, you have to be careful that leprosy can spread so fast. But in the way in which Edo people voted on the 25th, they have shown clearly that there are two parties that are in their heart. That is APC and Labour. Labour got one senator. APC got two senators. PDP got zero. That reflects the mood of the people of the state. I am aware, and I'm sure you are all aware now, that a panicky government is trying to play a card in which he can use labor or PDP. But our labor brothers must know that no matter how hungry you are, you don't allow yourself to be served 
by a leprous finger on a plate that is dated with leprosy because it will simply spread. I ask you to recognize all of us must vote for a new state. I repeat, all of us must vote for a new state. What does that mean? That together we must work to terminate the crude manipulation of the instrument of governance that the current tenants at Osadebe Avenue has used. All the information available suggests, indeed confirm, that they intend to use violence. But my appeal to you is that two roads don't make a right. We are preparing for election, and there will be election, not war. The only instrument you need on Saturday, the 11th of March, is your PVC. Use that PVC to make a statement that those who, for some reason, mistook their temporary power and began to behave like landlords. On the level, you need to remind them that they are indeed the tenants and the people are the landlords. I was here, I had the privilege with your support, other God's watch, to superintend over the affairs of this state. I know that only God is powerful. No man is. And when God concedes or allow you to preside over the affairs of your state, pray that that same God give you sufficient wisdom not to misuse power. Because power without wisdom need to self-destruct. On Saturday, come out and vote for APC as we begin to prepare for 2024. When I say 2024, because the tenure of the present governor will end in 2024. This is a matter of law. It's not a matter of prediction or revelations or whatever. So that together, regardless of who will emerge, we have a governor that will at least first respect the wishes of Edo people. One that will respect the tradition of Edo people. One that will respect the traditional institutions in Edo state. Recognizing the Oba as the paramount ruler of this great state. As I used to say and I still do believe, Edo, the word Edo is not an artificial word. Our state is not named after river or stone or other objects. It is an ethnic category. We are one and the same. There could be little variations in our dialects, but we are basically a people. We know who is our paramount traditional ruler, to whom we all subject, uh, subject ourselves to. We understand those core values of a people of respecting elders, and all of those things that government ought to do to bring smile to the face of our people. This statement is not to lament what has gone wrong. It is to give our people hope that these are moments of temptation. But on Saturday, come out and vote for the right candidate. Vote for the APC. We will not disappoint you. I have a clear message from the president-elect. President, I see what you Bola Ahmed Tunubu. He assures the people of Edo State, like he did when he came here for the rally, and he repeated it during his town hall meeting, that Edo will be economic hub because we have everything. As governor of this state, we started the Azura Power Plant, which was completed, and it generated about 750 megawatts. That is more than what it takes to guarantee power supply in Edo State. And our president-elect has promised that the idea of national grid would be a thing of the past. Every state in Nigeria can generate enough power. Edo already generates enough power. We should be giving to everyone, regardless of your connection, at a fee that is viable but not exploitative. An end to the era in which this cause gives you estimated bills based on what they thought 
to consume, not necessarily what you consume. Where they give a bit to community that is much more than the combined income of every resident of that community, even as they usually one or two bulbs in their homes. So this election is important because it is the subtotal of the state of the federated unit that constitutes the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So retaining a door with the ruling party is the way to go. We have no business being in opposition. And on my honor, I wish to say, with profound respect to the great people of the state, that we want to go to Abuja, having been elected to represent a do not. But even with our brother in the Labour Party who was elected to represent Edo South, working together, we will ensure that our voice cannot be ignored. We will defend the best interests of Edo State in the finest tradition of our people. We are known to be courageous, we are bold, we are intelligent, we are resilient. We respect culture and tradition. And I want to assure Edo people that, as it stands today, with my brother in Cetra and my brother in Edo South, even though the one in the other side from labor, it doesn't matter. We share the common passion to serve this state with the best of our ability. And we cannot be ignored. But we can't do that if our state is in the wrong hand. As you can see, whereas APC governors were unanimous that the sudden change of colors and confiscation of the money earned by people, rich or poor, but particularly the poor, should not be invalidated by the Central Bank. A Edo State Governor joined the forces at Abuja to insist that your money expires. I'm happy that God gave me the courage during the electionary campaign to say that the money in your pocket remains valid based on the pronouncement of the Supreme Court. Now that matter is now settled and it's settled finally in favor of the Nigerian people. I'm happy that the president-elect identified with that, uh, with that policy. I'm happy that I vigorously spoke loud and clear against that policy. And yet, the man you elected was the one of the two governors who went to court to support federal government that the punishment, the confiscation of your currency was normal and that the court should have held it. Good news, the court had dismissed it favor of the Nigeria people. A man like that, whether he come under the guise of PDP, where he actually belongs, or he come in the guise of any other thing, anybody he point at is automatically contaminated. I appeal to my brothers and sisters, our elders, our women, our youth, to know the difference. Please, vote APC. Together, we will ignite the will of progress and development in Edo State and across Nigeria. God bless great people of Edo State. God bless our paramount traditional ruler and traditional institution. God bless the Oba of Benin, Oba Atopaye, he said. Updates.